Now what do I do? I want to talk about dealing with a situation like this. Uh, say you're following a bearing, in this case I'm following a bearing of 309 degrees, okay, that way. Um, say you're following a bearing, you're in territory that you don't know, you don't have a map. So you don't know what's ahead of you, but you know that there's something at a bearing of 309 degrees, you know there's something in a northwesterly direction that you want to get to, a road, uh, uh, anything, any kind of landmark. But you're not sure what's in between you and that place. Um, if you had a map, you could look at the topography and know, well, there's a, a river there, or a stream there, or a creek there, and I need to plan a route that will either maybe the creek turns this way at some point maybe it turns back on itself at some point maybe i can find a way around okay but at least you'd know that there was a creek or a river or a stream there that you're going to have to cross at some point but so you walk up on this and you need to keep going 309 degrees that way well, you can jump in that and swim across it if you want to. Uh, if it was summertime, I would find a shallow spot and just walk over it. If my feet got wet, they got wet. But it's wintertime right now, okay? It's wintertime, you don't want your feet to get wet in the wintertime. Or anything else for that matter. So what I have to do is I have to go either in that direction or that direction till I find a place to cross. Now this is hypothetical because I know with the height of this creek right now, there's nothing that way or that way that will allow, that will allow me to cross this creek on dry rocks or whatever without getting wet. I, I would have to go two, three miles that way in order to cross. And so I know that that's, and we're not, not walking three or three miles or so that way to demonstrate this. I'm just gonna explain it to you. Now I saw a guy on YouTube uh, last night, I think it was. And the video was four or five years old, so I'm not slamming on him. He may have been new to dealing with stuff like this. And he saw a video online about boxing. I and mean, that's a, Another uh, technique that we're going to talk about in another video is what I call boxing anyway. I don't know what pros call it. I don't use the same kind of language. I might call one thing something other than what the pros might call it because it makes sense in my mind. For me, I don't really care. I don't care if I know what the name of the thing is. I just need to know the technique. But anyway, what he wanted, what he proposed to do is he knew there was a bridge down that direction. So he said, well, let's turn 90 degrees and set a bearing on my compass. I want a bearing of 90 degrees along this creek until I, or along this river, I think he was crossing the river, until I come to that bridge. When I get to the bridge, I'll cross the bridge and then I'll turn 90 degrees that way, take a bearing and come this way till I reach this spot across that's directly across from where I started. No, that's a technique that's used for an object that is in your path that is large that you have to go around, okay? But it's, a, it's got a defined area to it. In other words, it's got front and back and sides, okay? This creek doesn't have that. If I turn and set a bearing of, I don't know what that would be, and I'm not going to change my compass, but 
If I set a 90 degree bearing that way and follow that bearing, this creek goes like this. All along, it doesn't run in a straight line that you can take a bearing on it and follow. If you follow that bearing and the creek rolls over that way and you're so stubborn that you think that bearing matters more than where the creek is going, you're going to miss the creek. You're going to get lost. That's one. Number two, you don't need a bearing. This creek is a handrail. A handrail is some type of object that, whether it's a natural object, like a creek, a stream, a, a trail, a, a cliffside, all kinds of stuff it could be, or whether it's a man-made object, like a road or a wall or something like that, or a power line that's heading in the direction that you want to go and you know if you keep it to your side and watch it and walk along it you can use it just like if you were walking down your steps it's like a handrail and you're not going to go off course okay well what about when i get back here what you need to do is leave your bearing of 309 degrees in your compass because you don't need a bearing for this. And you're going to turn the direction of this river either that way or that way. Just pick which direction you're going to go because you don't know this area. Okay? And you're going to walk down there. You're going to use pacing beads or some method of counting your steps your paces, rather, not your steps, your paces, okay? All the way down that creek until you find a place that you can cross over on dry land or on rocks or something where you're not going to get soaking wet trying to cross this creek, okay? You're going to cross that creek. You're going to make note of how many paces it was before you cross the creek. Then you're going to turn this way, okay? You're going to reset your pacing beads. That's what I would do anyway. And I would count my paces and walk along this river, this creek, till I got right there. What I would do before I left is I would pick something that was on the line of my bearing. Okay, I've got that. And since this is a fairly open area here, I jammed me a stick in the ground right where I was standing. I found me a stick so that when I came along this creek, I could see that because it's fairly open here. And I would know even before I reached my pace count that it's right up here. Once I got over to the other side, I would put my back to that object that I chose that's on that 309 degree bearing. Okay, and I would take my bearing again, put myself back on 309 degrees, and keep getting it. That's how you deal with this. You don't need a bearing. The only bearing you need is the bearing you're traveling on. You don't need to change it, find a bearing this way or a bearing that way or any of that because you have a natural handrail that you can follow all the way down till you find a place to cross and then you can again follow it all the way back to your starting point on the other side of this creek. That's how you do that.